The border has been a disaster since Joe Biden took office. Millions of illegals are crossing the border with ease. And the White House has no answer for the chaos. Yesterday, the Supreme Court attempted to stem the tide of migrants by upholding Title 42. But it's simply a Band-Aid for the crisis because the Biden administration still insists that the border is secure. Today, Biden's Department of Homeland Security issued a statement saying, quote, the border is not open and we will continue to fully enforce our immigration laws. What a joke. Really? The White House is doing everything but enforcing immigration laws. Instead, Biden is escaping these problems by heading to the Caribbean. Joe's running away from the problem because this is what he wants to happen, a wide open border causing chaos. And of course, the media is covering for him. They say it isn't a national security crisis, but nearly 100 suspects from the terror watch list were encountered at the southern border. How is that not a national security crisis? Don't tell that to CNN. You hear people saying, well, this is a national security crisis. If you would see these families at the border, and I know CNN has been down there all the time, these families walk over the border and they just sit down with their little children wanting to apply for asylum. They're not bringing drugs. They're not a danger. They're not a danger, he says. It's not like the illegals are breaking into people's homes, right? Well, tell that to this homeowner. Debbie Douglas just faced every homeowner's nightmare when a group of illegals slipped past Border Patrol and attempted to break into her home nearly 50 miles away from the border. The illegals tried kicking in the back door, opening her window, even tried smashing the door to bits. This was the third time illegal immigrants tried to break into Debbie's home. And while she escaped harm, her neighbor wasn't so lucky, as the illegals successfully broke into her neighbor's home right after this. The Dems are ignoring the border as U.S. citizens are dealing with the real-world effects of this crisis. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.